Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do my Valentine's Day nails, well one of the styles, so using Mia Secrets Clear and a glitter that I made with some hollow hearts and a bunch of different glitters, hollow glitters, everything like that. So I'm just going to try this out. Um, so I'm taking a little bead of acrylic and um, dipping my brush into the, the glitter that I made and I guess I didn't measure the, the acrylic to glitter ratio correctly because I kind of had a little hard time doing it. I think I picked up too much glitter with, um, with the, um, acrylic. So I'm just kind of, um, working that out because I'm getting it on there as best as I can I kind of just slapped it on there and then shaped it up I don't want it too bulky because I'm going to encapsulate it and I want to keep the shape you know as close as um to the rest of the nails as possible so um because I didn't take the nails all the way down to actually do you know, to encapsulate anything. So I'm trying to do it as thin as possible and keep the shape as best as I can. And I'm going to do this um, on both of my hands for my middle and ring finger. And um, I wanted it kind of, I wanted to fill up the nail. Like I was thinking of doing an ombre with it. But I like um, the full nail kind of just blinged out. So, but yeah, I'm just trying to maintain the shape and form of the nail so it's not too bulky when I go ahead and encapsulate it. For some reason, I just think that when I have to encapsulate, that I have to put so much acrylic on top because I'm scared that I'm going to file through to... Uh, the design so I'm just you know I'm just practicing it's just kind of hard doing your own nails like when you do someone else's nails you kind of it's easier for you know to gauge everything because you see all the angles so yeah I'm just doing that um on both of my hands on the same fingers so um um, plus I'm going to do a different design on the rest of the nails, of course. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, um, when I do this hand, I'm sorry guys, I kind of get out of frame, um, with this hand. I really wanted to, it to be like a closer shot so you can see better, um, how I did the application. But like I'm so uh, like when I get into it, I even forget like the camera is there and I forget like, you know, I haven't I have to watch my hand placement and all that. And uh, anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing the other nails and and um, just like before, trying to keep the shape as close as possible, trying to keep it pretty thin um so when I go to encapsulate it I don't have these two extra big bulky nails you know next to the rest of my fingers so it looks um more cohesive with the rest of the nails but um um yeah I think you see it better here but I got better with each nail you know, I guess I was picking up too much glitter with the acrylic and it was kind of just not sticking on the nail at first. So I stayed closer to picking up just what I had on my brush instead of just dunking my brush into the glitter like this. Anyway, yeah. So, um... I go ahead and I finish that and I encapsulate it and I shape it and file it and buff it out 
uh, before I start on the other nails um, and you're about to see that right now yeah so that's it and I'm using my bottom coat my SXC bottom coat uh, base coat pardon me and my lavender violets um, they don't have a name or a number so this is that pink salmony peachy color <laughs> um and i was a little disappointed with this polish though because it was like streaky i did do two coats and it was still kind of streaky and i'm wondering if i didn't put a base coat would it be streaky or if i just but i can't i can't you know, I can't do, I can't paint my nails without a base coat because I don't want it to stain my original nails because I keep them on so long. So then I'm going to go in with the um, SXC. It's the red color. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it down in the description box at, um, for the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to do this extreme French, like extreme French. And when I tell you, oh my God, y'all, I tried so hard with this. Oh my God, I tried so hard. I mean, I attempted this so many times. It's so hard to do on your own now. Well, for me, it was really, really hard for me to get the line straight, to get it to do exactly what I wanted it to do. Maybe I didn't have a good, um, a nail, a good nail art brush that, you know, you're supposed to draw with but I don't know it just didn't maybe I just used the wrong brush I don't know but oh my gosh this was so frustrating like uh, oh my gosh so it was really hard and I kept using the um yeah I was like no <laughs> I didn't like that and I kept using the um I kept using the um, alcohol to take off, you know, try to get my mistakes off and everything. And every time that I would mess up and I, my mistake was not using a lint free um, paper towel or whatever to take off the nail polish. I used a cotton ball. Yeah, it just wasn't, it just wasn't working. And lint was getting on my, on my nails. And you'll see here, like, I go to paint the tips again and again and again. And I'm wiping off my, um, the nail polish brush a lot because I'm trying to get the lint off of my nails and it was just weird because I didn't see it on my nail until I went to paint it like I couldn't see it on there and it's just it was just it seemed like it was everywhere like it was so much it's just lint just like what did I do Ugh, it was horrible so yeah there you go trying to get that lint off because I wouldn't put my like I see the lint there so I'm not going to put my brush back in my bottle with lint on it and I see the hairs like on my nail when I'm painting them it was just horrible it was just this was so nerve-wracking trying to do these um red french tips like do a red french tip it was it was horrible. It was just driving me crazy. And every time I tried, and my hands were shaking and stuff because I was trying to be so careful and my hand was shaking and I kept messing the line up because my hand was shaking and then the red would bleed into the pink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, oh, oh my gosh. I don't know if I would ever do this on myself again. Like, it was just driving me nuts it was just crazy kept messing up kept taking off the uh, uh, it was just insane it was insane so needless to say i'm not gonna be uh 
doing, drawing any, yeah, this is drawing any kind of thing. So, um, what I did do though, is I got this tape, the, um, you know, the decoration tape, you know, they have them in different shiny colors or whatever. So I said, okay, I'm just going to line that up and then, you know, it'll be easier for me to get those lines straight and stuff like that. And, um, hopefully that'll all work out, but, uh, no, no, it, it, it helped where the lines were. And, um, you have to have the tape on there really good and everything because <clears throat> the nail polish will go under the tape, you know, and there'll be like an extra line there or the tape would put a dent like in the, in the nail polish because, uh, oh, that was just, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna, um, fight it anymore. I was just gonna fix it. Like, it took me a long time to do these nails to take off. And like, when I took off the tape, it was still messed up and I still had to paint it and I still had to, I mean, it was just, I was like, whatever. So I was just, yeah, super shaky trying to get it. And I was just like, no. And then at the tip where the tape crosses, at that point, it had a little bump from the, I guess, the polish and the tape or whatever. So, I was like, forget it. I'm not, I, this, this is, okay, it's as good as it's going to get. It's as good as it's going to get. So, I went ahead, did all the nails that way. Did all the tips. Uh, the encapsulation is done. So, now it's time to do the decorations for the nails so I'm using my McCart gel glue and I'm gonna just put white stones on um, those points where you know it was kind of messed up at so I said I was just gonna fix it put those um, stones right there where that little bump is and um, I'm taking some of the hollow hearts that were in the glitter that I made and I'm just going to put those, you know, like in the corner of my nail bed or certain way, whatever. So I had to spread this glue out because um, it's pretty thick or whatever. And um, those hearts are super flat, like they're thinner than paper. And um, it'll just, they, it, it's weird, like it was kind of sitting on top of the glue. So spread the glue out and um, I took a q-tip like a wet q-tip and just um, put like three little hearts on each nail bed and you know there you have it just place them where they needed to be placed and I did this on all of the other nails I used my XXC top coat gel top coat no white gel top coat and which i love everybody knows i use this i love this the sxc kit i did a review on that i recommend it for everyone it's a good starter kit um i think the lavender uh violets are too so yeah so go ahead and cure that and here it is got that hand done and I'm going to now decorate the encapsulated glitter nails. And I have these little um, gold metal hearts. It comes in a, a kit with metals and stuff. I that, That's how I did those um, gear nails. They, kind of, they came with that. It's like a metal kit. So I'm just putting these little hearts on there and trying to fit them on. These stick up. A little bit I didn't uh, the, I didn't want to encapsulate them I don't know why I just didn't want to I could have but I think that if I put them right on top of the glitter like they're already kind of hard to see and I think that if I put them in there with the glitter you probably wouldn't have seen them at all 
you know, it's very subtle. Like in certain light, you know, you'll see the hearts come through. So I did that on both. I mean, all of the glitter nails, I used those hearts and um, uh, the same um, McCart gel glue. Um, that one I did spread too. I used the uh, brush that came with the kit and um, and spread that glue around because, like I said, it was kind of thick and these are going to stick up so I didn't want them to be too bulky. You saw me having to press those hearts down to like kind of fit the shape of the nail. And I just like cured these really quick, like just to have them stuck I, because I didn't do the top coat and I wanted it to all cure at the same time. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the top coat, the SXE, no white top coat on uh, those nails and cure those nails. Um, a few a full cure on those nails I just wanted those hearts to stick and not move um, when I applied the uh, the top coat and I did a pretty thick um, I did a pretty thick coat on these nails and I did under the nails so it'll bling through. Um, it'll bling better underneath too. So Yep. So pretty. And there you have it. These are the finished products. I'm going to do another Valentine's Day look. Don't worry. Um, but this is the final look. Thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you next time. Bye.